you guys, I told you. I told you that they were going to pass the money on to Melania Trump. Trump and his cronies were going to funnel the money to Melania. I'm just waiting to do the complete shout out because this is half a shout out. Because they already started saying they were going to funnel the money to Melania. I'm going to wait to do my video on the shout out for when Melania says, What are you using that money for the children? I want to use that money for the children. I, I care about them and I'm going to help them to be best. Because that's what they're going to say. But for now, check this out. It's crazy. I can't get over mm, on point, on point. ABC News, the SEC and federal prosecutors in New York are investigating claims by a co-founder that Trump's media company violated federal securities law. Here's ABC senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky. Tonight, an insider is claiming Truth Social isn't telling the truth to its investors. Federal regulators are pouring over a complaint by a former executive at Truth Social's parent company, alleging Trump Media and Technology Group violated securities laws. It's serious. It's not a good idea to be on the wrong side of a uh, securities law violation. Truth Social was meant to be a post-presidency business opportunity and a way for Trump to get back on social media after Twitter shut him out because of January 6th. And go out and sign up now for Truth Social, which is doing great. It's hot and it's a hell of a lot better than Twitter will ever be. The co-founder told the Washington Post the former president asked one executive to relinquish his shares in the company to former First Lady Melania Trump and had him removed from the board of directors when he refused. The complaint also said Trump media tried to raise capital by making fraudulent misrepresentations about the company's finances. Ultimately, with respect, again, to the securities laws, this would all have to be disclosed. Sources telling ABC News the Securities and Exchange Commission is investigating, so are federal prosecutors in New York. No comment from either. In a statement provided to ABC News, Trump media touting its successes and saying the whistleblower's account is rife with knowingly false and defamatory statements and other concocted psychodramas. This is hardly the first time the former president's business practices have come under scrutiny. He has always denied wrongdoing, but his company, the Trump Organization, is about to stand trial in Manhattan for tax evasion. The attorney general in this state has accused the company of fraud. And, Lindsay, those are just two of no fewer than a half dozen investigations the former president is now facing. Lindsay?